Hello my beautiful Pisces friends, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and this is Irish Donna Tarot. I'm so glad you've stopped by to visit. I am broadcasting from Chicago and I would love to know where you're watching from around the world. It's so much fun. Okay, let's jump into this energy. First of all, the messages from Spirit Pisces are that you are in a divine matrix so there's a mystery there's something about life that's unfolding it's an exciting time for you you have a lot of optimism you have a lot of anticipated love and joy and peacefulness here you are releasing something now we get that this could be a place, you could be moving, you could be releasing a job, you could be releasing old attitudes, burdens, an old love, anything that you can think of. Just letting go of something to allow nature and life to unfold in a beautiful, mysterious pattern. Sacred reverence within your heart chakra. Look at that energy, the key to happiness is to treat your love with deep respect. All right, so your overall energy is that you desire a friend and lover. You want somebody that you can confide in, that you can come home and trust to be there for you, thick or thin, you know, no matter what. You want starry nights. You want special times of celebration with your beloved. Again, you are making a judgment call to release something uh, and that for some of you, it could be um, dating other people. You may focus on one is what I'm seeing. So when we get the Three of Cups, that is a friendship card. I, don't, I never read that as a third party situation ever. If the Three of Swords, the Two of Coins, the Ten of Swords, and the Death card was here, I would say that your lover's having an affair with your best friend, okay? But... I have to say, this is one of the best cards in the deck, and I absolutely adore that Three of Cups energy. Whatever you're releasing, Pisces, is something that needs to be released. Uh, again, it can be, and it can even be two jobs. So take it as it resonates. It'll be different for everyone. Your person, these are their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions, Pisces. So we see that your person has fire in their belly. They're very proud. They're fiery. They may have Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Your person is very much enthusiastic. When they think of you, it turns them on, baby. <laughs> we have two Leo energies. So again, you might be dealing with that somebody of Leo energy. It's a very optimistic, romantic, sexy energy. This is probably one of the best readings I've ever seen for your Pisces here on the channel. We get the Two of Cups. Your person just thinks that, you know, they're in love with you. Your person is in love with you. You go from the Three of Cups to the Two, uh, the, the two of Cups to the Three of Cups. Really falling in love with your best friend or your best friend is the person that you love deeply. And, you know, love times, love oftentimes makes us feel as though we do love our best friend because of the intimacy. The star card, we have this beautiful energy. The star card is that your person thinks of you, Pisces, as an absolute rock star. They feel as though you've healed a lot of wounds from childhood, that you've really mastered your life, that you're beautiful spiritually, that you're beautiful on the outside. They feel as though anyone would be lucky to have you. We have Cancerian energy. They think of you and they think they want to rush home to see you, to meet you, to greet you, to celebrate life with you. So we really see your person is, um, you know, giving up this concept of singlehood and really coming into the energy when they think of you of commitment. Okay. The strength card, again, fire in their belly. They feel as though they've known you from another lifetime or they feel like they want to know you for the rest of their life and through eternity. That strength card is a person, Pisces, who has really faced whatever inner troubles that they've had. And we all have them, but this person has grown, ascended. They've really mastered their life. 
in terms of their heart space Pisces they absolutely love you because we get the Hierophant card they love you in a very traditional way we get this spirit of wands we get this fiery energy here and their heart space they have deep passion for you we do get the five of swords here so there's something thorny going in in the situation between the two of you right now and it's judgment so it does look like there's been some sort of discord or argument that has made your person decide to release i think debating with you you know when we get five of when we get swords it's communication it's aquarius energy and it is a person who like you know would be the type of friend that you would have that would say well i don't really mean to give you problems but you know i'm just looking at things from the other perspective so it would be that kind of friend that always takes the opposite side in a debate whether it be political or otherwise and it looks like your person is finding that that's jeopardizing or having a negative effect on the relationship and they're going to release that behavior whatever it is whatever communication style applies to your situation whether it's not communicating enough whether it's communicating in sort of a short way or argumentative or whatever it is your person's releasing that energy we see them wanting to manifest and they are manifesting this deep traditional love for you we already see it here it, it, it was bursting out of the seams of the relationship right away when we opened the cards their intentions with you pisces are to grow old with you happily ever after deep loyalty the two of you may even own a dog together decide to get a dog we have the nine of wands energy this person has fire in their belly for you they are strategically managing their emotions and their energies pisces you two have a very intuitive connection i would say that you sometimes speak the same thing at the same time comes out of your mouth it's that epiphany it's that um, synchronicity your person absolutely deep love for you and the heart of swords is they have had time to think logically about this relationship and they feel totally safe and happy and joyful to put themselves out there to strategically work to the outcome that they want which is clearly a long-term committed relationship Pisces in terms of their actions they see you as single ready to mingle but there is some husband energy here and husband energy is just nurturing daddy energy this person has great passion for you they want the stability of owning a home with you they have a dog they bring good money into the relationship and they are absolutely in love with you so their action is to love you you have the ace the two and the three of cups that is a beautiful gift along with the queen of cups your person has a great deal of clarity pisces about why they love you you're mysterious you're unique you allow them to freely float you know in your emotions to not fight them there's something about this person pisces um, that they feel as though you accept them for who they really are and love them so two of cups two of cups three of cups i mean you know the ace of cups there's so much love here and we can really see the sacred reverence energy in this relationship let's see what this energy is here of the five of swords because it's the you know we only have a couple of cards that are of concern to me that i'd like to um, delineate more so let's see why do you have the five of swords here it looks like you're both guilty of it since there's two five of swords cards why do you both sort of have this energy of debate oh, sometimes you don't understand each other okay well debating until you have clarity is okay seven of cups says that sometimes you really just don't get where the person's coming from the seven of cups though can be keeping your options open so in the heart space you know pisces it does look like that may have been something if it's a fairly new relationship now we have this five of swords is clarified by temperance wanting to come together there's your release okay the release of confusion juggling maybe dating other people or having any other options open or anybody that the you know you're even communicating with it can even mean taking down an old dating profile that might have been around for a long time even if inactively 
So let's see what we have. Why is the Seven of Cups here? The movement of swords. Okay, so you have a tendency to like a lively debate, uh, but you're really finding that sometimes it gets a little bit raw. I'm getting that both of you are in the energy of just wanting equal give and take, making your point. Okay, so now let's see what the judgment card is here. We have it twice. We have it in your person's heart space, so it is releasing. We see the release card here. Oh, beautiful, releasing old wounds. You know, sometimes we bear a grudge. You know, we'll have an argument with somebody and we'll bring up the past. Remember that time when you blah, 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 and that triggers me. And it looks as though an apology is given and accepted. And it looks as though that is absolutely something that gets released. It's sadness. Look at releasing yourself to be open for the transformation of the Twin Flames card. That is the Naked Heart Tarot deck that I'm using, and that deck is unique in that it's the only deck that I own, and I own many, as you can only imagine, um, that has a number 22, 1111. So your person is releasing into the energy of work, being willing to work on this relationship, recognizing that there is a special aspect of your relationship that has required you to overcome um, weakness or boredom. You know, you really do have to work for the relationship to manifest the beautiful energy of ascension. Yeah, it's giving up, just releasing negative behavior. And it is also the willingness to work together. We get the two of uh, pentacles clarified by the ace of wands, an offer, a very passionate offer. And we have the seven of pentacles to invest. So we go from the two of coins, which can be juggling. It can be juggling two of anything, two jobs, two relationships, you know, too many options. And we get that your person is here in this energy of dedicating themselves to only being committed to you. So let's see why we have the, let's see. Well, I think I clear, okay, okay. So Pisces, why do we have the moon card here? Why is the moon card here for Pisces? Oh, the Empress, <laughs> oh, oh, Venus. Oh, look at that. Empress card energy, Emperor energy. This is twin flame. This is ascension. The stairway to heaven, the stairway to longevity, the, the card of absolute fulfillment. This is the energy of sacred reverence. The twin flame, two hearts beating as one Pisces. I really want to tell you how much I love this reading for you. I am asking for people in the comment sections to make, to ask for a reading or a topic. Tell me a topic that bothers you in love, some sort of conundrum, some sort of aggravating aspect that you keep bumping up against in your current relationship or as a trending thing that happens in dating um, that you would really like for me to address because in some of the dailies coming up, I'm going to uh, look at that with the tarot cards. One person mentioned yesterday, you know, how can I get my person to communicate more and more effectively and more often? And so we're going to address that probably sometime this week. But please share with me. This is really an open forum, open dialogue. I love comments and I do answer them. Cindy, you love from Chicago? Please send some back and tell me where you're from. Where are you watching this video from around the world? Thanks so much, Pisces. It's been a joy. Hope to see you again in another another video. Bye-bye.